Okay, hello everybody. Welcome back. Today, this video should be coming out on Sunday if all goes well. And if you're seeing it on Sunday, it's Chinese New Year. So, in honor of Chinese New Year, I decided to do a soap that looks like a Chinese lantern. So, I think it's going to be really cool. We're going to have mostly red and then some gold and a little bit of black. Um, and those, the gold and the black are just going to kind of be like trim, you know, things. And I still haven't decided if I should do an in the pot swirl or a drop swirl or what. So we're just going to kind of see how fluid the batter is and then go from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and do our lye water. Everything's cool enough. My oils are a little bit warmer than the lye water, but still within 10 degrees of each other, so we should be good. Now, the main bulk of this is supposed to be red, and then you're going to have, like, gold and black down inside of it. Since this is a slow-moving fragrance oil, or it should be, um, because it's a citrus one, we're going to go ahead and pour it in and see about mixing it up before we start splitting off the batter. We're not going to mix it too much because we should be able to mix the colors a little bit too. I don't want too much of the black or the gold. And in fact, the red was supposed to be just this main part, but then I accidentally put it in the little bowl, so... I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about that. I think that should be enough. I'm going to go ahead and just pour some of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's kind of a lot, actually. Um, put a little bit of gold. I actually want, like, a lot more gold than black. Because there's not really a lot of lanterns that have have the black, but... I think it'll be a nice little accent. Mostly the the pictures that I found were gold and red, but there was some with some other colors and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and mix the gold first, since it's like the lightest, and then we'll mix the red and then the black. I accidentally got the red a little too too heavy. I'm gonna have to mix that one up a little bit too. Okay. Oh, no, that's too much. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to end up mixing it too much because I've got it in too small of a container. So. Yeah, just put this over here for now. I'm probably going to do an in-the-pot swirl, maybe. So I can try to get that red a little bit more blended It smells amazing. It smells like fresh orange juice. Um, so this will be this will be the black one. They seem to be pretty fluid for the moment. But let me just put this red back in here. And then try to see if I can mix it a little bit better because I did not mean to pour that much. It was supposed to be the main, main color, because the lantern, Chinese lanterns are like red. So, just a little bit of gold accent. Ugh, sorry about my arm in the way. I worked so hard on the video that I posted the other day, Thursday. And I worked for like two hours on that thing. And then it got messed up, and it flipped, and it zoomed, and it did all these weird things, and I was like, I don't know how to fix it. So I just kind of gave up, posted it as is, and said, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And it, and it was fine. It looks great. Um, you get the idea. Let's see. The thing is, with this angle, and I'm turning it this way because I don't want the camera to flip and since I'm using my phone and it rotates it'll just 
rotate if I turn it down too much. So unfortunately, you don't quite get the good angle. Well, we'll see. Maybe I can, maybe I can get it to work. I think I'm going to go with a drop swirl for these. Should I? Mm, um, let me just do like a little bit and then maybe we'll drop swirl some on the top. We'll just like pour it and we'll just kind of see what kind of look we can get. Should have done like the other side. Okay, that's good. And then I'm going to pour this. I hope you guys can see it. I'm going to go like this and then we're going to just go ahead and pour all of it. And then we're going to drop swirl the rest, I think. Just to see if we can get some variety, you know? All right, now we're gonna do this side and this side. And maybe it'll go like down really far. There's still a lot more gold and black than I intended to do. I'll do one in the middle, one in the side, and one on the other side. Just squeeze all the rest of that out on the top. Gold. And then the red. Yes, I think this is going to look gorgeous. And then the frosting is going to be all red, I think. And I've got some black, little black balls for embeds for the top. And then I'm going to put some gold mica drizzle and gold, gold glitter on the top. And it is gonna be so pretty. I'm so excited about this one. I kinda did one last year on accident. Um, I was just kinda doing a citrus one and I was like red, orange, red, orange, you know. Um, and it ended up looking a lot like the Chinese lantern and I was like, this just reminds me of that. And so I thought I could actually do that this year. And it can be so cute. So I'm changing it up a little bit. And adding a little bit more, you know, pizzazz to it or whatever. A little bit of sparkliness. And I love this gold color. It kind of turns out a nice sort of buttery, muted gold yellow. And it's just, it's so pretty. And this black, I think it looks pretty glittery. I added glitter to both the gold and the black. And generally in soap, you don't get the glitter. It doesn't stick around. But I'm hoping, hoping this time it does just a little bit. Okay, let me tap this. Okay, it's still fluid enough that it should be okay and it shouldn't have like holes in it. We're gonna go ahead and do this. You can still kind of see the sparkle in the black and the other. All right, I'm gonna clean this up and then we'll go ahead and mix up the frosting, which is just gonna be red. And I'll be back when it's ready to pipe. Okay, we are back. We are ready to frost, mostly. Oh, this piping bag is so full. Okay, Um, yeah, I think I got it at a good angle. So we're just gonna kinda go with that. And I tried to let this set up like a lot so that it would be really good and stiff. These particular, um, this particular frosting tip kind of lets out like a lot, but I feel like it's the perfect kind of look for the Chinese, Chinese lanterns. I have made a decision to celebrate every single holiday, no matter how seemingly insignificant, which is why I'm doing Chinese New Year, St. Patrick's Day, all those, because I never celebrate anything, really. Um, and so this is going to be the year that I'm going to try to be grateful, and even something small, I'm going to celebrate it as like a win and Chinese New Year. I'm just going to make a soap for like every holiday, no matter how small. And that's kind of going to be my 
celebration soaps. So this year we are going to do every single one that we can think of. I'm definitely going to do like a 4th of July. They already know kind of what that's going to look like. Um, I mean, you know, red, white, and blue and everything. Um, but I might try to do like some flags. I did that Irish flag and I think that turned out really cool. So might try to see what other holidays they are, there are, and see if I can do some other flags for those like holidays. I think that'll be fun. Now this tip lets out like a lot, I think, of frosting. So I have, I'm trying to be like very, um, not, what's the opposite of generous, stingy, I guess, with the dollops, I don't know. It's a little bit thick in places and then a little bit not thick in places. So we just want to make sure we do not run out. And then we're going to cover it in so much glitter and so much. See, it's like soft, but it's not soft. It's like flopping over. So let me try to get it a little straighter up. Because I don't want it to be flopping like that. And I also don't want to run out. Normally I have extra frosting. But this, like I said, this piping tip tends to let out a generous amount. So we got, I tried to let it set up a lot so that it wouldn't be, wouldn't be too bad. So and we're going to kind of go straight up hopefully this doesn't like cover the camera i wanted them to be a little bit taller i feel like this frosting is kind of soft which is strange i let it sit for a while and it seemed like it was getting pretty hard so i just kind of want it to be A little bit taller but I don't think I let it sit up enough or maybe it's just because these dollops are so big it's not quite gonna be enough is it maybe it will be just the right amount Then I gotta kind of get, oops, oh no, it didn't work. Yeah, okay. And then we're gonna put these on. I got um, little black balls just to kind of give it a little bit of an accent here. And I don't want these to be crooked. I don't want to accidentally cut them. So I might have to see. Oh, I can't see. I can't see anything. Okay, guys. By the time you see this video, which will be on Sunday, my new soap will have released yesterday. So go check it out. It is ready. It is at the store. It is the New Beginnings Collection for the new year. No idea what I'm going to call the next collection. Um, maybe like Celebration or something. Because a lot of this is celebrating like holidays and stuff. The stuff that I've been making. So we'll see. We'll see about that. I'm going to go ahead and give this a little bit of sp spritz of alcohol here. And then we're going to go ahead and do the glitter. Let's do the mica drizzle too. I should have done the mica drizzle before I did those embeds. You guys still see here. Um, I don't want any. I want it to be an actual line, please. Thank you. I'm trying to get it in between. Um. But, like, I don't want to get it on the balls at all because I 
I'm just trying to keep those solid black. I think this is working out okay. Maybe not as thick. And then we're going to do like a whole bunch of glitter. And I guess the glitter can get on the balls. It'll be okay. Oops, that one got a little bit of gold. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and use all of this because why not? Okay. And then we're going to do glitter. And we will be finished. And it'll be so beautiful. I am so excited about this one. This is like a, it just looks like it should be, should be a dragon, doesn't it? Okay, come on. Get on there. Get on there. I want to get like a lot of glitter, as much glitter as we can get. That's what we're going to do. Oof, that was a lot on the black, but okay. And a little bit more. This is the shiniest, glitteriest. Do you see the glitter I'm breathing in right now? Oh well, everything for the craft, right? At least it's bio glitter. Okay, now that's a lot of glitter. That's as much as I can fit. <laughs> it's so much glitter you can't even see the gold drizzle. Um, it's just kind of like a big glittery thing. But it's beautiful. I love it. I will bring you guys in for a close-up, and then I will see you tomorrow. Okay, it's been 18 hours. You know how I'm pretty impatient. I like to cut my soaps as soon as possible, but 18 hours up here is okay because there's such low humidity that it's generally pretty okay to cut them by then. Uh, okay, let's see if we can get this lined up without cutting any of the embeds. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to maybe get a little bit off of that one. Okay, and the end pieces are going to be a lot more uneven is all. Okay, it's pretty hard. See, it's the difference in humidity, I think. Whew. Oh, goodness. Looking pieces everywhere. All right, I don't want to see that one. I want to see one of the middle ones. If you're wondering if my voice sounds a little scratchy, it's because I just woke up. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that is prettier than I thought it would be. Oh man, can you guys see that? Oh, that is gorgeous. And I was going to say yesterday, the, the colors were totally giving me like, you know, Jafar from Aladdin. <laughs> the red and the black. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I could make a... Jafar soap and totally make it just like this. I think I would do I don't know. I don't know what I would do differently, but Disney villains is definitely something I have on my my bucket list of soaps man. That is so pretty look at that one Does that look like Chinese lantern to you? I mean the white the the gold kind of turned a little more white than anything It's not so gold on the inside. It's It kind of does that. I mean Oh man, and I used that Rapunzel gold too instead of the King's gold. Oh, so it's a lot lighter. But look how gorgeous that drop swirl and then that little tiny bit of the, the in the pot swirl just really gave it like a variety. And then there's those drop swirls. Yeah, I'm glad I did both. I kind of think, I don't know which one I like better. I think that they look good together with these down here is the in the pot swirl and then these are these big dollops are the drop swirls and I just think they look so good. These also, these black has activated charcoal. So they're like super dark. And also you get a little bit of added benefit of active charcoal. So what do you guys think? I love it. I 
don't know what my next soap is going to be, but the video should be coming out on Thursday, I hope. A lot of glitter. Um, so if you guys have any ideas of what you want to see, let me know. And otherwise, I will see you guys in a couple of days. Have a great Chinese New Year. If you celebrate, look at that one. That's the end piece there. And if you don't celebrate, well, you know, happy January. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys next time. The soap release, New Beginnings, is now live. So head on over to mamalees.shop and check out what's available. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.